Welcome to your video by DJSBRC. We're back with Project Cherokee here. Uh, I want to say this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com. Check out their website. It's awesome. The description will be in, in the bottom too. Last video, I went maybe on a small... Uh, talking spree should I say explaining about this front bumper here um, it's not gonna be the same thing on this one here <laughs> uh, we're gonna show you or should I say I'm gonna show you the rear bumper how to install it I do have it beside me here but just before I want to show you what the vehicle looks like uh, with the front bumper here now you physically see it on your screen I'm gonna switch cameras I'm gonna try to pan on the front hoping it works out in my favor here uh let's grab the other camera and try to show you what the front of it looks like Like I was saying in the other video, the middle bar here is the an aluminum one from H Hot Racing, should I say? HR. Did not want to put the plastic one. Simple reason. I want it to be a little bit more reinforced. Can't really see it. It's a little bit dark. But there is three screws there. Two. It's going to be the stock for the physical um fender if you do go to the 3d print the only one thing i notice i may not might be hard to see on video but this fender here looks crooked and it actually is and it makes the rest of the vehicle look crooked but it is 3d printed and we cannot do much about that let's go to the other angle now top view enough from the front bumper let's show you the back one we do have our plastic bumper here from axial what we want to go with is the rc four wheel drive here steel bumper with a receiver to be able to put a hitch and some track holes on the back too now the plastic one from our uh, from axial is good too it has a receiver and it's close to similar i just wanted to change it to put steel uh to give it a little bit more weight to it at the same time and this is the uh, machine rear bumper for the acx 10 2 from axial Let's flip this guy around, flip around the backwards. Find our two mil, that's right over here. And let's remove these screws here. Now the mount in the rear, uh, it's still the plastic one. I'm gonna keep the plastic one for the moment until I decide if I'm gonna pull a trailer with it. If I ever decide to uh, yes, I'll change the mount and I'll go aluminum just to make sure there's not too much sag on it. And if we flip the bumpers upside down, they are pretty much very similar on the physical angles here. You at the top, they're pretty similar. Uh, the only die, the anchor points for the uh, shackles are way closer on the uh, RC Pro Drive one. But out with the new, with the old, in with the new. Make sure to flip it upside down. I'm going to insert it. I think I'm going to stop roughly about there. I want to readjust it after. 
once I put the body on it, I'll uh, I'll see how it goes. I'm just going to put one screw in, make sure not to lose my other one. Flip this over. Grab my body here. That's still not painted. And see how it she goes. It could go in a little, maybe one more notch. Try to remove that gap here. I know you can't really see it. See if the camera's gonna play nice with me. Yes, it does. I have a gap here. I'm gonna try to eliminate that gap. What I could have done is <laughs> before cutting my body, wait until I had all my equipment and leave this uncut. But what's the fun of that? Remove the body again. We'll flip it. Remove this one here and try to put it in one more notch. Let's hope this one is enough. Cause I want to, I want to make it look like, like it's a real vehicle. Oh, that's perfect. There is a small gap here still, not as major like it used to be, but even on a real vehicle that would be tolerable. If I can't go in, if I go in more, it's going to constantly hit the body, and I don't want that. And then we found our, our perfect position. And that's pretty much it for this video here, guys. If you have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's around here, somewhere in the bottom of your screen. And if you want to be notified next time I upload a video, hit that bell notification and it will let you know next time I upload. And don't forget to subscribe and go check out greathobbies.com. Thank you for watching.